Well, hey, you guys, I wanted to come on here really quickly and just let you know of the Thrive Life March specials because it is another really good specials pack. So the only thing I'm missing here is the instant milk and I've got it on order and it should arrive any day. So I, I did order that um, because it's one thing that I don't have from Thrive. I've got um, I've got some powdered milk that I use like when I make breads and things like that. The instant milk is different um, because it's milk that you use to drink and not to cook with through Thrive. So um, I'm going to, I think I ordered two cans of that and um, we're going to see how that tastes. I've never had it through, through Thrive. Um, I've heard it's very, very good, tastes like regular milk, so we'll see. Um, I don't mind the powdered milk, I, the one that I cook with that I get at the store. Um, I usually add it to some milk that I already have. And if I just use water, um, I use it to bake with or cook with, it, it, it's not bad. And when you have no milk available, um, it's a good thing to have on hand. So in light of everything that's happening right now, um, Thrive Life freeze-dried foods, I know, are looking better and better to everybody right now um, with the current situations the way they are. Um, I am currently taking inventory of all of my Thrive Life. I've got some stuff right here, um, and then I've got more in my office, more boxes. So um, I am currently trying to uh, put together all my meats, all my vegetables, all my fruits, um, and then like the basic things like, um, like rice and the cheeses, uh, sour cream, things like that, and then I'll add milk to that as well. So... Um, let me tell you the March specials. So the special pack is 30% off and it is $110, which is an amazing value for what you get. Um, so a lot of people I hear a lot from, well, Thrive is so expensive. Well, it really isn't when you look at the big picture. Um, how many times do you buy broccoli like we have right here now these are all pantry cans these are smaller cans you can get them in larger ones um, and I do have some larger ones but this is how the the pack comes so this is what I'm showing you but how many times have you bought broccoli or uh, strawberries or green beans um, and especially strawberries they grow bad in the refrigerator so quickly um, and I grow my strawberries so um, yeah they, they they go bad you guys um, but broccoli here, um, I have noticed, gosh, the last few months, if I go to the store and I buy fresh vegetables, um, they look fresh, but I think they've been sitting for a while, maybe in a refrigerator. Um, and then they put them on the showroom floor, you know, in, um, you know, in your, in your local grocery store. And when I bring them home, I have noticed that I buy a couple bunches of broccoli, and a couple days later, the broccoli starts um, either flowering or turning yellow on me. And um, it looks nice and fresh. It's nice and firm when I get it. So I have been winding up throwing away a lot of vegetables. And I don't like doing that. Um, usually, if I am not going to use my vegetables up, if I have some left over, I will dehydrate them. Um, strawberries are the same. You have to use them to be fresh. Um, pretty much right away uh, within a day or two at the most and I get them fresh here from the farm as well as grow them so um, whenever I am making jam or jelly I get cases the, the big flats of strawberries and if I don't use them within a day even if they're refrigerated um, they start to mold it's um, and that's fresh from the grower here but um, but the supermarket staff, it's it's been getting really bad lately. So and I am just all about no waste food, and that's one thing that I really like about the Thrive Life freeze dried is that there is no waste, um, and it's super easy to do because it's already cut up for you. Um, in the case of the meats, it's already cooked for you. All you have to do is refresh it, um, and it is really good. I mean, it it's food, you guys. It is. It is real food, and uh, and it tastes like real food. Um, it doesn't taste like powdered food. It tastes like real food. Um, if some of my customers on here see the video and you have tried certain things, um, can you comment below and let me know how you liked 
um, or how you like your uh, th Thrive Life. Um, I know I have a lot of customers that um, have, they email me all the time and tell me how great it is um, that they're using it every day like I do because I rotate my food. Um, I don't, I, I buy some for long term and then I buy some to use now. So I get the pantry cans um, like the sausage crumbles right here. So I have a couple of these put away. Um, and then this one is open, so I'm able to show you guys what it looks like. And I will tell you, these are seasoned, and they are really, really good. Um, so I use the food that I have. So um, I am learning to cook with it um, on, a, on a more regular basis. Um, we are stocking our trailer with it to take camping or for an emergency if we have to leave right away. We have a trailer full of food ready to go. I don't have to run around and look for food. Um, great for earthquakes if you're in earthquake zones, tsunami zones. Um, we're in both, so um, it's kind of, it's really essential that we have an emergency kit um, and an emergency plan. So um, back to this. So the no waste. This is no waste. You take out only what you need as much strawberries as you need. Um, if you need some green beans for a side dish, you take out as many green beans as you need. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, any of that stuff. Um, celery, no waste celery. Um, you're just not wasting food. So think about how much food you're actually throwing away. Um, I know even when I dehydrate food, we are we wind up throwing food away so recently i bought three pineapples that i was going to can and they looked amazing when i bought them and we wound up throwing them away because they literally dried up um within days of buying them they literally dried up the produce is just not the same like i said i think it's sitting there for quite a while before it gets to the grocers and then it sits there at, before we buy it and then we put it in the refrigerator and um, it's just going bad. Let me know if you guys have experienced that as well. Um, I know a lot of people here locally have as well as across the country. Friends of mine are noticing the same thing. Um, so it's growing season. We are starting to grow or starting to plant things here. Um, so I anticipate growing a lot of my stuff but to have um, Thrive Life freeze-dried food added to my arsenal for my food pantry um, is just another level of preparation that I think we all need right now to not only have for emergencies, but to fight inflation as well. Um, so you buy at today's prices and you eat them 5, 10, 15, 25 years from now when maybe, you know, maybe pork is um, $20 a pound. I mean, who knows the way things are going, right? Um, just like we, when we can, you know, we buy at that day's prices and then can and it's good for years and uh, luckily we can eat it, you know, when, when we need it. Um, so let me go over the specials. Um, in the pack, in the specials pack, we have pulled pork. Um, which is really good, you guys. It's really good. So you just refresh um, the meat, uh, just like, and then you, you put it in water. You refresh it. It's in boiling water, only enough as as a, until you refresh it, um, and you're, it's not soggy. Um, it tastes like pork. It's really good. Um, that's what I mean. I would not promote this if I did not care for the food. And let me tell you, my husband was really hard to convince to um, start eating this. And now he's cooking with this as well. And that says a lot because he was a chef. So um, that really says a lot. So we have broccoli. We have our strawberries, which is what they, these look like right here. And they are really good. They are really good. Um, these are great to snack on. And the only meat that I will recommend eating uh, from the can that actually tastes good are the sausage, sausage crumbles. They're really good um, Just to snack on so then we have our green beans right here, and these are all freeze-dried you guys not dehydrated and we have our 
green chili peppers, which are jalapenos in there. I have not opened that. And then the sausage crumbles. And then, like I said, the instant milk. So that is the special for March. Um, I know that, uh, gosh, there are so many of you guys asking me questions. And if you have questions, if any of you guys, if any of you are new for, uh, to Thrive Life, I would love for you to be one of my customers. Um, if you feel that you would like to um, maybe promote Thrive Life in your area, the need is really great. They are expanding. Um, the, the company has expanded so much the last two years. I am only a consultant since last August, but I have been using this food for about 20 years, you guys. Um, I just never promoted it before. It wasn't something that I promoted. And it wasn't until I decided, you know what, I need to add this to my emergency food preps and my emergency pantry um, that I decided to be a consultant and earn some extra money and earn extra food because um, you get credits. And uh, I've earned a lot of extra food. That's how I have uh, built up my pantry so much. So what you see over here, this box is full um, with mostly number 10 cans of food in it. And then I have some here, and then, like I said, I've got, I think, three other boxes. And then I've got my order coming for March still, um, which should be here any day. So we are very well stocked already on our, our freeze-dried food. We have enough already for, I think I figured, about three months for just the two of us. Um, I have lots of meats. I have lots of vegetables, lots of fruits. Um, we are really well stocked. So, like I said, um, some of this is going into our trailer, some of it's staying in the house, um, some of it's going in the pantry in the kitchen so that I can use it every day. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to add a little snippet of a recipe that I made this morning um, of some eggs and just show you how easy it is to cook with it. And um, more recipes will be coming. I am feeling a lot better. Thank you guys. Uh, for your patience and everything and um, and thank you for watching the collaboration um, what I will and or what I what I love to can and not can again um, a longer version is coming on my end um, because I have so much to show you guys and I have so many new subscribers and brand new canners and I want to show um, what I like what I don't like um, to help the newer canners and and the seasoned canners as well um, because we all have different likes and dislikes um, so and we also have a collaboration coming on the 25th of this month about dehydrating what I like to dehydrate what I don't like to dehydrate and so far there's 11 different channels in that one so it's going to be very similar to the canning one um, so if you have any questions about Thrive if you've been on the fence about Thrive Life trying it or anything like that um, I would say try it. Just place an order. Um, my website link is in the description box here. Um, really simple. It's the canningnana.thrivelife.com. Um, and I would, I would try some of it. Um, some, try some of the fruits to get you started and see what you think. I promise you, you will like it. Um, you will use it. Some of the ch the chopped onions, the red bell peppers, the green bell peppers. Um, oh gosh, the spinach is something that I use almost every day. The, the onions for sure. The chopped onions I have cans of um, because I go through that like crazy. And it's really good. And it saves me time. This saves so much time. Once you start using this, you're going to say, oh my gosh, this is really good food. It is already cooked for me it's already chopped for me and there's no waste so um you really can't go wrong and to put it away for emergencies especially right now um i think is a very very wise thing to do um i went to the grocery store the other day i went to walmart and all the pasta was gone now i can make pasta um but a lot of people can't and um a lot of the um the tomato sauces were gone and the fettuccine sauces were gone and yeah I can make all that and I was walking around the store and thinking between my canned stuff between the things that I'm growing 
um, and dehydrating and now my freeze-dried food I am very very blessed I feel very very blessed that I don't have to run around from grocery store to grocery store trying to stock up on things that I need because I've already got it in my pantry um, so let this be a blessing to you guys as well um, it will be a tremendous help I think in the months or years to come I think we're all gonna need an emergency storage of some sort um, unfortunately because of the prices inflation and until that evens out a little bit if it ever does um, I think this is what we need to do we really need uh, to preserve our food whichever way we can of course I also freeze our food um, but I don't like freezing too much because power outages and uh, yes we have a generator and I can can but um, there's you know you only have so much time before that food defrosts and goes bad so um, so this is an option and I hope that some of you will consider it and become um, Thrive Life users. I think you're going to love it. Um, I know you will if you try it. It's really, really delicious. So today's word of the day, um, and if you don't know how that works, all you do is you must be subscribed. Now this is for a giveaway and I will be giving away some Thrive Life food. Um, we're also having a live tomorrow, you guys, um, where I will be giving away some stuff too. And our big uh, giveaway is going to come pretty soon. Um, pretty soon it will be worth, worth the wait, like I keep saying, I know. Um, and because you have all been patient with me and uh, all the health issues that I have been dealing with, I am going to make it worthwhile for everyone. So um, please bear with me with that. But to be entered in my giveaways, you have to be subscribed. Um, you need to like the video and you need to comment the word of the day in each of the videos. So each video has a different word of the day. It's all unique to that video. So for my big giveaway um, and my random giveaways that I'm going to be doing like in tomorrow's live, that's going to be from February's videos and up until tomorrow for tomorrow's live. Um, but for the big giveaway, it's gonna be February and March. So you want to go back and look at those videos, listen for the word of the day, comment the word of the day in the comment section, um, subscribe, like, and share. So, um, and let me know if you guys have any questions and I will be happy to answer. You can email me at thecanningnana at gmail.com and the word of the day is going to be freeze dried food. So if you guys have, have tried Thrive Life. Let me know in the comment section below what you liked, what you didn't, maybe. Um, and and let me know any recipes that you may want me to show you. Um, I have just about every food that Thrive makes. There are a few things that I don't have yet. Um, but like I said, I've got orders coming. And, um, and I will try to make whatever you guys want to see. So I hope this helps you. I hope it inspires you to at least start a um, emergency food pantry and, um, and of course, learn to use it. So the biggest thing about freeze dried food or food that is good for 25 years, you don't wanna just get it and put it away and forget about it. You want to learn how to use it. Um, should the day come in an emergency and you have all of this food and you don't know what to do with it, it's as good as not having it. So you really need to learn how to use it. And the way you do that is to use a little bit of it in recipes. Um, you don't have to buy the big cans and see if you like it. You can buy these small cans, the pantry size cans, like I do. I, I buy very little number 10 cans, you guys. Um, I just buy cheeses and um, things that I'm going to use like potato chunks and carrots and celery um, spinach of course because I love my spinach um, things that I know I'm going to use a lot of that's what I buy the number 10 cans um, the rest of it I buy it when it's on sale and, um, and I just stock up so um, that fits my budget so um, I hope you guys will uh, try it and uh, let me know if you have any questions. 
again, my email is thecanningnana at gmail.com and um, I will answer any of your questions. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget the word of the day and I will see you guys soon. So I want to show you a quick recipe on how I use my chopped spinach and also my chopped onions through Thrive. So in the pan, I have some butter and some of the Thrive Life chopped onions. This is one of my favorite, favorite um, foods that Thrive, Thrive puts out. So one, I really can't say my favorite, you guys. So it, it, they're all my favorite, but it's one that I use every single day. So the canister, I only have the pantry cans and I just buy them like that and I store them in my long-term storage. Um, along with using them every day. So what I do is I brown a little bit in butter. So what I'm doing is I'm making breakfast. Um, and I'm just gonna show you, I've got some eggs scrambled right here. And these are whole eggs. These are not the egg powder. Although Thrive's egg powder is just as good as regular eggs. Now I have two cans, two pantry cans of it right now. I am not going to open that. Um, because I want it in my emergency storage. Otherwise, I would be showing you guys that. So I'm going to add this to my pan and then I'm gonna add some of the spinach. So I've got this on really, really low so that I can actually show you guys this recipe. So let me get some spinach out and then I'll be back. So this is what the spinach looks like. And I will tell you, it smells like garden freshly picked spinach. It is amazing. So what I do with clean hands is I just take a little handful. My hands are small, so, um, and I either crunch it up a little bit or leave it in whole pieces. Um, some of the pieces are a little bit big like that. So I just wanna break it up just a little bit. I absolutely love spinach in my eggs. So sometime I add some tomato powder just to give it a little bit of a tomato uh, flavor because I also love uh, tomatoes. So I don't have any of the Thrive tomatoes. Um, they should be coming any day now and I'm gonna show you guys what I do with those. Um, I have used them in the past. Um, I heard that they changed them just a little bit because of the crop that they got, um, but they're supposed to be just as good and I will honestly let you, you know. So the spinach, you do not have to soak. Um, to refresh it and you don't have to do that with the onions either so i am just going to cook the eggs like this so the brown that you see in there is some of the butter because i let the butter sit so i've got a little bit of brown butter eggs which is absolutely delicious if you've never tried brown butter eggs i love brown butter anything um so i have it on low and that's only so that I can show you guys how I do this recipe. Now you can make an omelet out of this if you just let it sit like this. Um, I'm also going to be showing you some recipes for egg bites. Um, eggs and uh, Thrive Life go really, really well. So um, I have been running myself ragged and not feeling well and not eating correctly. So that's why I'm trying to get these eggs done. Um, going to start to eat a little bit better. And I'm also going to be making egg bites that I could just grab and go in the morning um, or throughout the day when I'm hungry. And you can add anything to those and I will be showing you guys those. They are absolutely amazing. So at this point, you would want to turn up your gas just a little bit more if you're going to make an omelet. Put a little cheese on it. Thrive has cheese. Um, they, I, I have some cheddar cheese and some Parmesan cheese so far. I think I bought mozzarella too. Um, you'll be seeing everything that I have so far because I am reorganizing my entire cupboard and my, um, consolidator, my can consolidator, and I'm going to be putting them in my office for now. Um, but I'm going to show you everything that I have in Thrive, um, in this video so you guys will see um, how much I've accumulated and what I'm using because I'll show you all the open cans so far um, the open cans that I have left anyway so this is going to be my breakfast 
Like I said, I've added some salt and pepper to it. You can add some garlic or any kind of seasoning you want. Um, Thrive also has amazing seasoning. Their general seasoning is very, very good. Um, I really like it. I have not tried the Italian seasoning because I make my own, but I have heard that it's really, really delicious. Um, so I guess I'll have to try that and just let you guys know how it tastes. And I'm also going to be showing you some Watkins um, uh, products as well, because Watkins is something else that I have sold for the last 30 years. Um, and I really don't promote it, but I want to show you how I cook and what products I use. And you guys can buy the same. Um, I do sell it. Um, I just really don't promote it very much. But the link is in the description box below. Okay, let's get these eggs done and plated and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so here are the eggs all done. So mine has a lot of spinach in it. You may not want as much spinach. You might want to add um, more peppers or some red peppers, red bell peppers in this. Oh my gosh, you guys, really, really good. So what I'm going to do right now, um, these are green onions and I am just gonna take a little bit. I'm not gonna refresh them. I'm just going to set them on top of the eggs like that. Kind of garnish the eggs a little bit. And you can see that is my pepper of choice, the Watkins pe pepper. I swear, you guys, this is the best pepper. Um, even my husband, I have convinced my husband 21 years ago to use this pepper. Um, it's coarse ground or a little bit coarser ground than normal pepper, but the flavor tastes like pepper. It's not cheap pepper. Uh, it doesn't taste like cheap pepper. But the flavor of the pepper really comes through, and it is amazing. Um, it's amazing. I'm going to do a whole video on the Watkins stuff so you guys can see what I use. And I'm probably going to give away some things of Watkins, too, because I know a lot of you guys haven't even tried Watkins. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> there you go. Um, so, we use three Thrive things in the eggs. We have used the green onions on top the spinach, and then the chopped onions. Um, these are my open canisters, and I will show you more in just a bit.